Welcome back, everybody, to uh, what is this game? Uh, Gold Rush. <laughs> and look at that. Pricing of gold is twelve fourteen. That's pretty good. It keeps rising. Uh, so we are going to go uh, sell today. We're also we also have a full bucket of magnetite. So we're going to do some more upgrades on the blacksmith. And I think today we're going to buy ourselves a uh, the large excavator because I kind of need it for the next part of the digging that I'm doing. Uh, so a couple things to go over real quick. Um, when something is in your area and it it's broken down, uh, the mechanic starts to work on it. So the mechanic is working on one of my truck tires right now. Um, and I, from my, my understanding, it's based upon whatever is the most damage. So that wheel's 49%. That one's 88%. That one is 87, and that one's 32. So it's probably this one um, that it's that the mechanic's working on, and I'm just letting them do that because I, that's un, how I understand they they level up. Um, but I did have a trommel chain broken because I only have one mechanic. Apparently, you can only work on one thing at a time. So uh, let's actually take a quick look at the workers too. I'm slowly figuring this out here. So. Our mechanic is, he's still level one, and he's still 30%. So I don't know how long until he becomes level two. Uh, but, you know, we just kind of started here. So um, what this, I, I still haven't exactly figured out what this guy does, uh, other than maybe he makes the hog pen. It says hog pen performance, but again, I don't know if that's processing speed or more gold. My guess is probably more gold, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Uh, but what this guy actually does is this guy changes out the mats, which, of course, it, it does explain that there. And But what I wasn't doing correctly the first time around is you have to place the mats inside of the little loops on the sluice box in order for that to work. So you have to place these mats here. So because he can only do two, I only have two slots that I can use, but I'm assuming that at some point you could you could have up to uh, eight additional um, uh, mats on here. So as long as I keep those in here, when these fill up, when they get to 100%, he'll swap those out um, automatically. And right now, um, two of the formats are, are one percent ahead so i mean it's not really benefiting me right now to uh, you know significantly but you know we're we're training them up right so or leveling them up so that's how things uh, appear to be working with all those guys right now and you know i've watched a few more videos and stuff of some of the more experienced players in this game and eventually the idea is that you get enough workers to assign to just everything and they just make everything run more efficiently uh, even to the point where you can um here let's grab i bought two trommel chains because this is the second time one's broken um eventually you can get to where you can do like double or maybe even triple the loads before you know you have to stop and wash so uh, that's my understanding of how things work so far all right, let's take our extra chain and we'll just stick it here in the shed. Uh, just on one of these shelves here, we'll go repair the one chain and then we'll... Can I f make this go flat? No, it just wants to go one direction. Okay. Well, what happens if we do that? <laughs> uh, that's what it does. Okay, whatever. It can stay there. So we'll go fix the chain, then we're going to go dump this full bucket of magnetite. Oh, another thing I discovered, um, and this I just kind of did from experimenting. I didn't learn this from anybody else. It appears that the gold from your miner's moss gives you the most magnetite. I mean, significantly more than the other, the other concentrates. Uh, based upon my experimenting. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna experiment with that ag again, just to make sure that that is indeed the case. But th that appears to be the case. 
Also, your miner's mosses, or at least the miner's mosses on this tier three plant here, all of them collectively give by far the most gold as well. Um, but we're only talking about one, you know, it takes pretty much all of those mosses to fill one bucket up in the nug nuggetator. So the one up top there where the, where the big great thingies are, that one gives the second most. And then the duplex jig buckets give the, well, no, the duplex, the duplex jig buckets all together are give about the same as the one up there. Maybe just a little bit more altogether from, you know, from the testing that I've done so far. But I'm going to kind of keep an eye on that and see if that's, you know, still the situation. Okay, so I think we need the crowbar to take this guy off. Yeah, it's the bad chain. And then we'll put the new chain on. Uh, we don't need the crowbar to put it on, just to take it off. And that fixes our trommel chain. Oh, and you can see I have 87.2 ounces of gold, too, by the way. Okay, so let's uh, go do our magnetite. I guess the mechanic's going to continue working on our wheel whilst we drive. So he might not be a high-level mechanic, but that's pretty talented, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're going to go in and hook up to our trailer and take that down to the factory. I've noticed uh, some of the more pro players take the trailer and just park it at the factory and keep it there all the time. Kind of makes sense to do that, I guess, since we're the only people in this in this entire world, actually. But the other thing I'm finding out about... Whoops, hold on. I forgot to do something. These are both break the other thing i'm finding out is there's you know there's a cup there's two or three different ways to play this game i mean I, and i'm not talking about playing it the way you want to that's not what i mean i mean there's what's called leaderboard uh and in leaderboard you're competing against other players to make the most gold and in that mode you you know you want to go as fast as you can and so nuggets are enabled for example and it looks like the pros also use the drill and get nuggets from the drill and per, and pretty much completely bypass uh, at least tier two, maybe even tier three, to get up to tier five as quickly as possible. And I don't even know what tier four is. And there's I haven't even heard of a tier four, but there's probably got to be. Uh, so anyway, this is a full bucket of magnetite. You can see it in there. So we're going to dump it in the trailer, which only fills the trailer up itself, I think. Uh, don't we have an indicator on this? Oh, maybe we can't see it because it's attached to the hitch. I think it only fills it up 3%, but it still gives us a lot of magnetite. So, yeah, uh, people playing leaderboard, it's all about making as much gold as fast as you can. And so, you know, they're, they have nuggets turned on. They're using the drill to get nuggets, and they're essentially bypassing Tier 2 going at least to tier three, if not even higher, um, to make all that gold. Then there's what's called hard mode. And hard mode basically has nuggets completely disabled and maybe some other, you know, things like that too. But you basically don't have nuggets. So there's that way. And then there's, you know, what I guess you would call the normal way to play, which is what we're kind of doing. And that's where, you know, you kind of play the way you want to and you not necessarily in a hurry. You're just doing what you want. So it's just interesting. Oh, that gives us 10% magnetite. I thought it only gave us three. I don't think I had anything else in here. Okay, so we currently have 725 ounces of mag. And now we have 6,194. Okay. So, I mean, in a real world situation... We wouldn't leave the trailer here, right? Because other people are using it. But the fact of the matter is, I'm the only human being on this whole in this whole world. <laughs> I hear noises, but I've never seen anybody else. Whoops. Uh, so we're just gonna leave it there, and then you know, when we get a full bucket of magnetite, we just bring it by with the pickup truck and dump it in, and then cash in, or maybe even let the magnetite trailer fill up. I've heard that if you let it fill all the way up, the trailer itself. Um, you know, you're talking like a million or, or even millions of, of dollars if you if you cash it out, which you eventually would do after you got all the upgrades, right? So that's some pretty decent money 
you know, considering that other, you know, you're using something that's otherwise more or less worthless. I don't even know what the blacksmith does with the magnetite, but it's just a, another way the game has made, you know, currency available. Is what it really is, but if you try to apply that to a real, real world scenario, I'm not sure uh, what the use for that would be because it's just magnetic material, like I don't know, filings or something like that. Anyway, okay, let's stop here. We are going to purchase the Big X for seventy six eight hundred. Um, oh, you know what? <clears throat> if I wait till winter, the price goes down. The problem is, though, is not having this is kind of slowing me down, and I'll show you why when we get back to the base. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that big of a difference, and but I have learned that stuff is the most expensive in the summer, which I did not know. So that's something to keep in mind if you know if you're planning on making a big purchase. Um, so I, I mean, we we're probably talking twenty, you know, two, three, four thousand dollars cheaper in the winter. Maybe I could be wrong about that, but. We need this right now, and we're just going to do it. And I have always planned on coming back and buying this for real anyway. Um, so let's do it. Okay. And then we'll pay the 1500 bucks to get it transported. And now we have, we are the proud owners of our own big excavator. Uh, the small excavator, we're going to move off for now, at least until we get... A worker that can use it and I think the, the way that works is you have the excavator on your property you assign the worker to it but it just makes your excavator better like faster or more productive or something I think that's how that works okay so that's gonna cost us three grand which is not too, not too big of a deal and there we go okay so we got the we got the big X the big X over at our base oh I was gonna try something else too I was I think we could do some mess around with some paint that's not like going to cost us anything maybe oh this is neat you can like paint all your other stuff too okay so let's look at a truck um uh wait why is this all grayed out parker's gold doesn't cost anything halloween doesn't cost anything custom user paint um i don't know why this is grayed out so workshop huh does this well we've got money and we have gold so what's the currency for this so why doesn't this work i don't understand well, let me know, guys, in the comments, uh, if you would, on how this is supposed to work. Because it's for whatever reason, it's grayed out. I don't know why. Is it because I have to have... Well, no, because everything's over at old Arnold right now. Hmm. I wish it would tell me why it's grayed out or why I can't do it. But I'm sure some of you guys know, so let me know in the comments case I don't figure that out by the time you guys see this video. I'm, um, I don't know, I'm about six videos ahead of you guys or something like that right now. Uh, all right, so what are we doing? We are going to go to the blacksmith. Oh, here's another thing I found out. When you buy stuff from your, from your place, it costs more money, which makes sense because there's got to be, there's a delivery fee, right? So I probably should have waited and bought the Trammel chain in town, but oh well, it's all right. It's all good, man. Saul Good, Saul Goodman. That's the the lawyer from Breaking Bad, and he has his own show too, which is pretty good. Pretty crazy show. Saul Goodman. Okay, let's turn the car off here. Yeah, yeah, lights will drain. You're right. So our gold is currently as high as it's been probably ever in my playthrough. So this is so we're gonna go ahead and just sell now. But before we do that. Um, let's see what kind of upgrades we can get. So we currently have a little over 6,000 magnetite and I'd like to get the gold loss one loss upgrade one gold loss reduced or the cost. Uh, what is this one? 
Yeah. Oh, this increases the size of the bar, right? Okay. Um. Hmm. Is there any way? Smelting time. You see, smelting time is not that big of a deal to me because, you know, this might be a little bit of a hack, but I just I could turn the time up to sixteen x while I'm waiting. <laughs> um. So it just honestly, you know, maybe maybe we'll do a a series where I'll put a rule down that, you know, I set the time at the start and you can't touch it and and there's no hacking it like that. But for this season I'm hacking it. So anyway, um so this will allow us to get larger bars, which means less weighting potentially, but this is less gold loss. And I still think this one is the most important out of all of them. So we're gonna do that. We're going to upgrade to less gold loss. Okay, so that leaves us... Um, wait, did we upgrade? Yeah, oh, that's right. We have to get out of here before it resets our magnetite. So that leaves us 903 magnetite. Um, just out of curiosity, how much could we sell that for? Yeah, we could get 6700 bucks, but we're going to hang on to that right now. Uh, but this is cool because, you know, now I think I'm losing 4 ounces per 80 ounce bar of gold and now what's going to happen is well let's just see um so oh look at that we're only going to lose 2.67 down from four ounces so yeah that's significant that's significant okay guys uh, so i'm going to smelt the gold here and then uh i'll meet you guys over at the bank we'll sell it and see how much money bloop, see how much money we get see you in a bit okay guys we are at the bank Woo, look at that spin out. Let's see how much we get for this gold. Let's check the price again. Yeah, 12 14 it's pretty much holding steady. All right, let's sell gold bars. And that. Excellent. Okay, so that gets us up to almost 200 grand. Uh, we'd have... We'd be pushing three if I hadn't bought the backhoe but again, or the excavator, but I wanted to do that. So... We're still got into to six hundred thousand though the, to buy old Arnold. Like to do that before winter, but I don't think that's going to be a problem because with the time on one X, uh, we could potentially end that by the end of this in-game day. Uh, but it's more a matter of you know time to play in real life because have have to work during the day, so evening is you know the opportunity for that. So anyway, um, let's head on back to the claim. And I don't have any gas. I don't have my gas thingy with me. So, yeah, let's just head back to the claim. And uh, we're going to get set up with the excavator for the next part of the digging that we need to do. Okay. So uh, I went ran back into town and fueled up our mobile tank here. I don't remember what side the fuel nozzle is on on this guy. Is it that one right up there? Well, I guess we'll find out here in a second. Yep, that's it right there. So we'll give ourselves a full tank of diesel here. Ugh. And then uh, we'll get set up here to get back to digging. I actually have a dump truck load that I need to throw in the plant. Okay. But, yeah, here, let's go do that while we're waiting, I guess. We'll get that dirt moved through. And looks like we already have about 20% in. Oh, I, I left my, my big light on. Shouldn't have done that, but... Too many things to try and remember. All right, I'm um, I'm just gonna put the dump tr <coughs> excuse me dump truck over here for the moment because I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna position it yet. So let's just park it there, and uh, go back and get our backhoe. Get that position first, and then we'll put the dump truck in place. So basically, the deal here is that I've got um, a, a couple of hot spots of 
you know, a plots there with with gold, you know, hot spots of gold, is what I'm trying to say. And um, why would I fill my own tank up? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> and um, but it's way up high in the air and I can't reach it with the with the front loader. And if you dig something all the way at the bottom of the of the the dirt wall, it takes everything from the top too. And I, I'm guessing you probably lose some of that gold. Are these? Can I do a an, an analyze thingy on these? No, it won't let me do it. Okay. I'm not. I don't remember exactly why these are here, but if they're good what does it say if i put this on here or cable yeah i mean the, i can't tell by by visually looking at it if it's good or not so i'm just going to put these back really quick okay so what we're doing here is if we go to our gold map and we go to Oh, I think it's this square here, or maybe it's this one. I don't remember. Let's toggle all three of these on. Uh, I'm going to get a little closer here. It must be that one there. Yeah. Okay, so... If we look at this square here, 117, um, yeah, 117, uh, you know, the gold is four meters down, which I, I don't think the front loader can quite reach that high. I think it can only reach to maybe around here-ish. So I want to dig down to here and at least pull the top part of this richer vein. And we might, you know, this one doesn't have a whole lot of rich gold in it. That one, that one does, though. And I've already dug this out because basically, you know, this is, this is kind of where the edge of the dig dirt was. And I've kind of already dug down in through here, but it wasn't as high up. So I want to use the excavator, you know, to, to, get the top part of this off and hopefully grab, you know, the first part of, of this gold. Uh, but the other thing too is, you know, my, my, uh, little, uh, what, which am I call it? The big ditch that I've <laughs> dealt, uh, dug, you know, kind of goes along like this, but I got this big thing in the way and just a really narrow pocket. So I want to get this out of the way so I can get the dump truck further back in there, which is just going to make me be able to load it more quickly. I don't know if, if that makes a whole lot of sense. I hope that made sense to you guys, but that's, that's the idea of what we're trying to do here. So we're basically going to cut away. I'm going to back up just a little bit. We're going to cut away this area from the top with the backhoe. And then once we get it down a little over half or so, then we'll get the rest of it with the front loader. Okay. So now that I've, completely butchered explaining what I'm doing. Uh, most of you probably get the gist of it. Um, I, I think we're, yeah, I think we're okay over there. Let's go ahead and pull the dump truck over and figure out the best way to position that now. So probably what we'll do is we'll just bring it around like this. I got kind of that rough spot there. Okay, so let's um back it up just to the other side of this. Right about there. And I think I can reach that with the backhoe. If not, then you know we'll adjust as we go along. Oh, it's nice to to own own the big backhoe now. Definitely nice uh, to own that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into dig mode here and get started digging. Hmm, I wonder, that dump truck might be a little far away. You know what let's do, actually? 
let's get back into drive mode. Let's move the backhoe a little closer to the dump truck, because I just I have a feeling like I might be just a little far away. Okay, let's try it right there. That'll probably be okay. All right, so we'll get our bucket out and start filling this guy up. Here, let's get into this camera mode. No, not that camera mode, this camera mode. Okay. I gotta get used to this now. I'm, I'm totally used to, to the backhoe now. All right, the I the front loader, not the backhoe. <laughs> okay, so if we can at least for this first part here keep the arm more or less extended, yeah, that's in a good spot. Then we should be able to start digging this out pretty quick on the top here. All right, guys, we are back, and I have carved down that uh, area with the backhoe to about, oh, halfway down or so. And I should be able to get the rest of that now with the backhoe, or I'm sorry, with the front front end loader. I, I got to tell you, man, I, I like the front end loader so much better than the excavator. You can just, I don't know, it's, it's easier for me to use A... And B, you know, you can move so much more dirt with it so much more quickly. So, uh, you know, the back goes good and all that, but yeah, I, I'm I'm a big fan of the front loader. So we should be able to to reach the rest of this, and so we're gonna you know cut out all of this down to bedrock and open up some more space down here, and then I can bring the dump truck, you know, all the way back here and keep it close to. The, uh, the front loader, you know, as we go along. So uh, we are really close to a clean out here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another dump truck load. What, it, what I started to do, by the way, because uh, in between cuts here, all of my, I had to replace all of my jig pumps and my duplex jig motors. Uh, they weren't, they didn't all break at the same time. But a motor broke and a pump broke, and I checked them with the analyzer, and they were all close enough to, to what I said, screw it, I'm just going to replace them all right now, because if I don't, I'll get started back up, and five minutes later, we'll be down again. Uh, plus, I uh, also, when you put that stuff in the place to, you know, to sell it, you do get more money back for things that are the not 100% damaged than those that are. So, you know, there is that too. Not that it's worth it, but it is the way that it works. So, let's go ahead and jump in here. We're going to do another dump truck load. Um, with a front loader get that done and then oh what I was going to tell you guys is what I've been doing is um, filling up the hopper and then coming back and getting another load and keeping everything shut down until I have two loads then I turn it on come back uh, do, a, do a couple of bucket loads and then go back and turn it off so that it's not running when there's no dirt running through it. Um, it's just, it, it's it's a pain in the butt to have to do that, but it has to do with, um, you know, I'm just getting so many breakdowns and stuff's breaking down even when there's no dirt moving through and it's just because it's running, right? Which makes sense. So it's a little more running around for me, but I'm thinking probably in the long run, it's gonna save time because, you know, there's less downtime for the repairs. But let me know in the comments, those of, you, those of you who play this game, how do you do it? Do you just keep the wash pump running the whole entire time when you're doing this? Or do you get a couple loads in and then turn it off until you can get a couple more loads in? You know, uh, it seems to me like, I mean, what's the most efficient way to do it? Because the downside to what I'm doing is I have to stop and go run back up there and turn it off kind of thing. But 
that's not usually as much downtime as when something breaks. So just trying to figure out, you know, what's what's the best way to approach that. So anyway, so let's get this uh, dump truck loaded. Uh, you get about six percent of the of the uh, dump truck with the large excavator per bucket. And here you, if on a good bucket here, you get about twelve. I gotta lift that up a little bit. So yeah, front end loader is by far my favorite uh, implement here for for running dirt, man. Front loader and the dump truck, love it. And the way I've you know uh, I do all this on mouse and keyboard, so the way I've got the keys mapped, um, I've gotten pretty comfortable with it and. You know, can run it reasonably well here. It takes a little longer when you have to get the lower stuff because you have to wait for the bucket to drop. But I think that's something that extra workers will help with. They they actually speed up the hydraulics on these uh, machines, and you know, then that in turn helps you to be faster too. So hopefully, we'll get a, a worker some point. I haven't gotten a new one yet, but I'm running at 1x too, like I said, so the days are going by really slow, but I want them to at right now, because I would like to buy old Arnold um, by winter. <clears throat> and I don't think we'll have any trouble with that, doing that with one on 1x speed. If we were on you know, the, whoops, uh, the faster speeds, then that could take a little bit longer, but as it is right now, I think we're good. And that gets us a 98%. We'll just put a little more, a little, little dab in there, and then we'll, we'll be ready to do our next washing. Uh, we did, yeah, we got a pretty full bucket there. Probably not 100%, probably about 90-ish. Okay, so we're just going to... Just drop a little tiny bit in there, and then we'll leave the rest of this up in the air for now until we come back. Oh, thought I turned the lights off, but apparently not. I really like those big lights up there. I, as you can see, I mean, it's it's 10 o'clock, well, quarter to 11 in the morning, and I'm still using them because they just help so much. We are going to probably have to move them, though, pretty soon as we get deeper into the quarry here. All right, let's fire this guy up, get that second load going. Okay, so I have a full hopper here and then a, another full bed there, but like I said, we are really close. Well, we're not we're at 93%, so uh, it's definitely going to fill up before this whole thing is done. So we'll keep an eye on it here. Um, it'll probably take about, I'm guessing, about half of the current hopper to finish up. Somehow or another we got off a little bit, but oh, I think it's probably because those duplex jigs, the machines got off on them. Because usually the hog pens are the, you know, the, the last to catch up, which makes sense because they're the furthest out. We might even see our guy, well, see see it happen I should say see the guy change out the mats here in a second or maybe he already has I don't know yeah see miners moss and hog pen sluice cox uh, sluice box core has been swapped it's not doing us a ton of good at the moment but it's okay everything's popping to a hundred percent all right so let's go ahead and stop the whole thing, but we want to keep those guys running. And we got to keep that running. So we come up here and disconnect that. And then I'll, I'll also disconnect the, the hog pan hoses too. But before I do that, I'd like to get this out of the way first so I don't have to come back up here until later. 
All right, guys. Well, uh, you've seen me do the clean out here on our tier three setup a couple of times now. So I'm going to just go ahead and uh, cut the camera, do that. I'll bring you back and let show you how much gold we have when it's all said and done. So see you here in just a few minutes. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, the difference between uh, all of these concentrates here. So this bucket is the one that came from up here, uh, uh, the trommel sluice, or yeah, probably rock or trommel sluice, I guess is what that's called. Um, so let's take a look and see how much magnetite we get from it and how much gold we get from it. Okay, so we'll put this in here. The last time I did this, I actually wrote it down. I got about 11.2 ounces of gold from this bucket. It's not going to be exactly the same, of course, because the dirt was different. But we're kind of just comparing the sluice versus the jigs versus the mosses, right? Okay, so we got 3%. Uh, 3% of, whatchamacallit, out of this. Magnetite. <laughs> My brain's not working. Uh, okay, so now let's dump it into here. And see how much we get out of here. Okay, 12.39 gold. Okay, so that was from that trommel or that uh, sluice box up there. Uh, actually, before it goes in the trommel, so it's really coming out of the shaker. Uh, okay, so we got 3% of magnetite and we got uh, 12.39 grams of gold out of that one. All right, now. Let's just set this aside here. Oh, for goodness sakes, really? What do you mean it's been destroyed? It hasn't been destroyed, it's just we got a hose a hose out. <laughs> Don't say destroyed. You're freaking me out, man. Okay. Um let's go ahead and deal with this. This is the first time I've had a breakdown on this, so it's actually been running quite nicely. All right, so that's going to be big diesel water pump, water pipe thingamadoodle. Let's go. I'm just going to buy this here uh, because I want to keep going. Equipment store uh, parts. So we're looking for. Big diesel water pump pipe, I guess, or hose. Pipe. Big water pump pipe. Okay, 124 bucks. Not too bad. All right, let's go grab that real quick, and we'll throw this in the junk pile. I have quite a bit of items in the junk pile now. Actually... I think what we'll let's just go ahead and clear all this crap out of here. You don't have to put it in the bin either, by the way. Um, so if you're curious, this this these are all of the things that have have broken recently on me. All right, so we'll get a total of sixteen hundred and fifty bucks back from that, and get rid of it and clean it up. Okay, let's grab the new water pipe, which is right here. Okay, stick that in place and tighten her up. Except for everything in this game is backwards. Ready tidy is actually lefty loosey and vice versa. Don't ask me why, it's just the way it works. Either that or everything in this game has reverse threads. Okay, we got our water back. Now, um, I'll tell you what, since this is a single bucket, let's do the moss, uh, miner's moss bucket next. Okay, so we'll dump that in there. And let's see how much magnetite we get from this one. Four, five, six, seven. Are we going to get an eight? Eight. 
and nine. Look at that. Nice. Okay, so you definitely get a lot of magnetite. I mean, in comparison, right, to um, uh, with the miner's moss bucket. So it was at three, so we got 6%. We got double the amount that we got from the rock or sluice rock, a box up there. Okay, let's see how much gold we get out of this one. Twenty one point oh seven ounces. This is from Miner's Moss. Now remember we're comparing these to the different types of cleanouts here, not to this specific cleanout, if that makes sense. So I'm comparing the Rocker sluice to the duplex jigs to the miners mosses is what I'm doing here. Okay, so we got 6% magnetite and 21 ounces of gold versus 3% magnetite and 12. So we got almost twice as much gold and magnetite from the miners mosses as we did from that. Now, the cool thing about that is the miners mosses are a lot more work. It takes me a lot more time to, to process them, but, but you get, twi you know, ish, twice-ish as much stuff from them too. So... That makes it worth it. Uh, okay, so now we have the four duplex jigs. We're going to run um, these. Uh, well, I'm going to run all of them at the same time for the gold, but we'll just pay attention to what we got going on here. So we're starting at 9% with these. And we'll put that down there, and let's get this going here. We got none at all from that one. Or just under 1%. Okay, let's see what the second bucket does for us. Okay, we just got 10%. So it looks like we get just a little less than maybe 1% from a single duplex jig bucket. But we do need to process all of these together as really four buckets of concentrate. So this should roll over to 11 here in just a second. There it goes. Okay, we'll stick that there. And then the final one, I don't think this is going to get us to uh, to 12. It might. We'll see. And don't worry. If the bucket's not down there, this doesn't process anything. process anything. It would in real life, but not in the game. So I didn't lose anything there. Ah, it just rolled over to 12. Okay. So you get about the same amount of magnetite from four duplex jig buckets as you do from one rocker sluice box uh, bucket. So that those two are about even in terms of magnetite. All right, let's see how close they are in amount of gold. All right, 12.47 ounces of gold. We got 12.39 from the rocker sluice box. So the verdict is that one rocker sluice box bucket is more or less equivalent to four duplex jig buckets in terms of the amount of magnetite and the amount of gold that you get. And... A miner's moss setup on a tier three operation like we have with the hog pants here is about twice as much ish as the other two. And again, that's fair because it takes a lot longer. I'd say maybe three times as long when you can you know, take into the account of the fact that you got to take these off, take each one off, go down, you know, run them to the nuggetator. Um, it takes quite a bit longer to process them, but at least you get twice as much stuff from them, uh, which is really cool. I like that. Okay, so we got a total of 45.9 ounces of gold out of that clean out. Not super great, but that's okay. Um, a lot of the dirt we, we dug off the top there wasn't uh, super good anyways. If we look at our square now, um, it's we got a nice little patch of, of, of uh, what's it called, rich spot gold um, in... Right at about the top ish of that. And then, so, yeah, we should pull some nice, nice, decent gold out of that.
Uh, okay, so uh, that is it, guys, for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm just going to keep digging here. It's only 11 o'clock in the morning. The sun's nice, nice and bright, so I turned my lights off. And we're just going to keep pounding away at this, uh, keep repairing as needed. But, again, I'm not going to run the plant when uh, until I have two full dump truck loads. In other words, one in the hopper and one in the truck. Then I'll turn it on, run it, turn it back off, and then go get two more loads. It's going to take me a little bit longer to do it that way, but hopefully it'll reduce the wear and tear on our stuff a little bit more, too. Let's get, whoops, uh, get these guys hooked back up for the hog pens. Okay, so we should be ready to start up till the next thing breaks. <laughs> Let's go ahead and technically we don't need to run these, but I don't think they're really drawing any power because they're not, even though they're, they have power coming to them, they're not running, uh, but we'll turn them off anyways. So we just need to let that dirt run out, and then we'll get the next one going in. So, in fact, I can start feeding that in right now. Probably, probably get almost the whole load in before it gets back to 100%. Uh, so anyways, all right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. Uh, I'll bring you back in the next episode with an update on how we're doing, and we'll go from there. So if you guys enjoyed, if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And remember, front loaders are way better than excavators. At least I think so. All right. See you later. Bye.